Welcome back to the lab, your place for tutorials, travel and inspiration. Today I'm gonna show you 5 quick tips in DaVinci Resolve you need to know in your workflow. Let's jump right in. So the first tip is how to manage your footage. And mostly you've got all your footage organized here in folders. And then you don't want to create the same folders in DaVinci again. So just take this folder here and drag it onto master, not down here, drag it onto master and just let it drop click on don't change and your whole folder structure you have in your finder is applied to the to DaVinci Resolve. So you've got here your pictures, your finished project, your raw files, everything here you've organized in your finder is now in DaVinci Resolve. And now a little bonus tip, when you add some new clips, for example, here in the raw folders, you can go to DaVinci Resolve, right click and then click here on resync media files. Then DaVinci will search in that folder and see, ah, oh, there are some new files, so I have to add it there. But it only works when you drag the folder in DaVinci Resolve like I show you now. So the second tip is timeline preset. This is a huge time saver. Like that, I have my voice every time on the same layer, the music every time on the same layer, the sound effects every time on the same layer. And here on Mixer, I changed the level from the sound effects or from the music, how loud this should be. So I've changed that and I don't want to do this over and over again in every single project I do. So when I've fixed everything like that and I've renamed them and changed the colors so it's better visible here. So when I change it, I see exactly, okay, this is sound effect. This one here is for music. This one here is for the voice. When you've done everything, go up here to your timeline right click go to timelines export afl xml whatever rename it and save it where you want to have and next time when you start a new project right click timelines import afl edl xml and open your preset you want to have in your project tip number three is in the fusion page and let's say you add an effect onto your clip and it repeats itself, this effect, and you don't want to keyframe it over and over again. So let's say here on the first frame, the vignette should be the size like that. Then on frame 10, it should be like that. And on frame 20, it should be like that again. So that means you've created this. Now you go up here to the splines, open it up, enable here the vignette and you see the curve you created with your keyframes. Then select everything, maybe you smoothen it out like that. And now you want to repeat this effect over and over and over again. And instead of creating the keyframes over and over again, just select all of them. And now you see these icons down here are highlighted. So for example, you want to repeat it, go here to set ping pong, tag, enable it. And now you see through the whole clip, it repeats itself. And you can do that with every effect you have. Tip number four is for all Mac users. So when you edit on a Mac, you may have heard of the gamma shift. So when you edit your video with the color grading and you export it, you have this kind of gamma shift. So your video doesn't look that saturated, a bit like washed out when you've exported this video. And DaVinci finally fixed this in the version 20.2.2. Go over here to DaVinci Resolve, go to preferences, here to general and here you've got a new checkbox view match quicktime player when using rec 709 scene so that means when you do your color grade you have your first note here for example from s log 3 to davinci white gamut and then here back from davinci white gamut to rec 709 and rec 709a and when you export it you don't have this gamma shift so your final image doesn't look that washed out and the fifth and the last tip is a very quick one. So you edit in your video and you want to swap these two clips. So you take this clip and drag it over here. And then you take this clip here and drag it over here and this one back down. There's a way easier solution. So select your clip, hold down command, shift, and then with comma or dot, you can swap these two clips. There's one little issue, you see my sound here is deleted. This is because I haven't chained here these two clips. So if you want to avoid that, select your clip, make sure here this chain symbol is enabled. And then when you swap it, your voice or your audio will swap with your clip. So make sure you enable this if you want to swap the audio as well. 
So these were my five quick tips in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you enjoyed them and you will save a lot of time with them. With that said, have fun creating and see you in the next one. <laughs>